He jumped parole in 2006. He managed to evade the law for seven long years by living under a false identity, even getting a job at a bank in Kannur in Kerala. But it appears the law has finally caught up with Bitti Mohanty. Identified after colleagues recognized him as the convicted rapist from the reports put on your channel, Bitti Mohanty has now been sent to 14 days of judicial custody. Tracked down in Kerala. Working in the bank. Impersonating as Raghav Rajan. The law has again caught up with convicted rapist Bitti Mohanty. The media pressure is, was consistently on him and that is precisely why one of the times now viewers happened to see a follow-up story that we had done in the month of January on Bitti Mohanty and had written to us saying that a man who looks like Bitti Mohanty works in SBT at uh, Parangadi here in Karnur and that led us to, us to investigate and uh, further the Karnur police and banking officials also investigated and the long arm of law as of now seems to have caught up with Bitti Mohanty. But despite being found out, Bitti Mohanty shows no signs of regret. He had a smirk as he was being taken to a judge. When he came out, the defiance still evident on his face. Raghav Rajan or is it Bitti Mohanty? What should we call you? Who are you? Huh? Are you Bitti Mohanty or Raghav Rajan? No, no, no. Huh? No, no, no. You're a convicted rapist. What do you have to say? Where were you all these years? Bitti, is that Bitti Mohanty or Raghav Rajan? Who are you? A local court in Kannur has sent Bitti Mohanty into 14 days of judicial custody. But in a couple of days, Bitti will be back in this jail in Jaipur, from where he escaped on parole in 2006. Now that he's been arrested in Kerala, he would be brought back to Jaipur to not only serve the remaining term in Jaipur Central Jail, but also to be tried for jumping payroll. The son of a former Orisha DGP. But Bitti's family has been in denial ever since he jumped parole. And even after his arrest, they are not speaking. I'm standing right outside Bitti's residence in Katak. While his family refuses to answer the critical questions posed by Times Now, the big question is, how could Bitti have done what he did without the knowledge of his family? Even the Mohanty family's lawyer giving no clear answers. You still stand by the fact that his father is innocent? Innocent of what? What crime has his father committed? I'm of sure. of harbouring his son? Is he, has he not been helping his son uh, evade uh, law or arrest in that sense? It's a difficult question, but since I don't know anything about it, I prefer to uh, not to answer. The Bitti Mohanty case has triggered a debate whether those convicted in serious sexual offences should ever be allowed to come out on parole. Bureau Report, Times Now.